Premiere Pro allows you several different ways to trim clips in the timeline and a special area called the Trim Edit Window. Currently, I have a sequence that's loaded in my timeline that I'd like to fine tune for the producers. My playhead is over the edit point of the first two clips. And to the left, I'll call this clip the outgoing clip. And to the right of the playhead, I'll call this clip the incoming clip. If I selected my playhead and hit Shift K, I'll perform a play around edit that would play a certain amount of seconds before and after the edit points. It would continue to play back in a looped fashion until I press this space bar to stop where the playhead will then jump back to the edit point. The amount of seconds before and after are referred to as pre and post roll and are adjustable under the Premiere Pro preferences playback. This is gonna be available under the edit preferences on a PC you'll see the pre and post roll here. I'll press cancel to exit. Now, in order to trim on the timeline, I can move over the incoming clips in point and enter into a regular trim mode with the red arrow. If I click and then drag, I'll be able to trim that incoming clip by a certain amount of frames. The problem is that it leaves a gap in its place. I'll hit Control Z on a PC to undo that or Command Z on a Mac. This time I'll use a modifier key the control key or command before clicking to get a yellow arrow to enter into ripple trim. If I click and drag over to the right, I'll be able to trim by a certain amount of seconds or frames. And once I release the mouse, the trim is complete and no gap is left in its place. Let's move to the next edit point on the timeline by pressing the downward arrow key. I remain right now into ripple trim. But if I hit the T key, I enter into a trim edit window in my program monitor. On the left hand side, what you're seeing is the outgoing clip. And on the right hand side, you're seeing the incoming clip. If I hover over and click on a window, I can cycle between the various types of trim. So we have the ripple trim for the outgoing clip, ripple trim for the incoming clip. And if I move over the middle of both clips, I can enter into the roll edit. Besides being able to use the buttons down here to trim a certain amount of frames forward, as well as a certain amount of frames backwards, I can use my J, K, and L key to dynamically trim on the timeline. What I'm gonna do is hit the J key to play back, and then use the K key right away to roll the edit to that point. Let me perform this again by pressing L this time, and as soon as I hit the K key, playback will stop, and my edit point will move to that position. Let's hit the downward arrow key to move to the last edit point on my timeline. Besides being able to cycle between the various trims by moving over these windows, I can use Control T on a Mac or Shift T on a PC to do it with shortcuts. In the latest version of Premiere Pro, there are also new additions to the trim edit window, such as the ability to play back, to use your I and O keys to perform edits using various types of trims. We can also revert an entire trim session. And that is how we dynamically trim in Premiere Pro.